Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, but first I would like to start off with talking about Ipsy. Ipsy is a great organization that puts together makeup bags for people who want to get started on makeup but don't know like what the right kind of makeup is or you know don't really know what to experiment with first. They just go by a personal survey of your skin type, skin color, all that like personal stuff and then they'll send you hair products or makeup or face masks or nail products and it's just a really cool thing that people that people have put up with for a while <laughs> alright I'm jumping into the um, tutorial I'm gonna be using to start off with a primer this Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer it's Rainforest of the Sea. I'm just going to apply just a little bit of that to my face. Now for foundation, I'm going to go in with this Rumiel London Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable, Breathable Long Wear Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. And I'm also going to go in with the Rumiel Long Lasting 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation in the shade Fair Ivory. Gonna apply dots all over the face. And down the neck a little. I'm gonna do the same thing for that Romeo long-lasting foundation in the classic ivory. A little bit down the neck. And then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and I'm going to just go ahead and dab all this in. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to use this uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium. And then I'm going to use that same beauty blender and just to blend that out. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Now I'm going to go in <laughs> and do my eyebrows. And I'm going to go in with this It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil in the shade Universal Taupe. And I'm going to use the spoolie side and brush up my hairs. Draw a line underneath there. And then draw a line on top following the arch. And then brush the hairs back and fill in the eyebrow. And use that spoolie side again to just blend all this out. And then use spoolie to blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with this Nomad brow powder and a small angled brush. Pick up some of the darker powder on the brush and fill in the tail part of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to pick up that lighter shade. <laughs> and fill in the front part of the eyebrow. And then blend it together. Now I'm going to go in with some brow gel and I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm going to go in with the IT Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer in the shade light and apply some onto a flat surface. And then I'm going to take a nice flat brush like this and just And then I'm just going to carve out the eyebrows by concealing around them. Now I'm just going to follow the natural arch of my eyebrow on the top and bottom to conceal any mistakes. Do this on both eyebrows.
I'm not using that same beauty blender that we used to for foundation. You can see there, we're just going to blend this out. Now I'm going to go in with this Air Spin Loose Space Setting Powder in the shade Honey Beige. And a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up some of this product and just start setting everything. Now I'm going to go in using that same Air Spin Loose Face Setting Powder in Honey Beige and using a tear shop, a teardrop shape beauty blender. I'm going to pick some up and bake under my eyes. Now for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use that same uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium and put a little bit on my eyelids just to prime the eyes. I'm going to blend that out with my finger. And, go on, and then I'm gonna for eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this Color Workshop Hues palette. And I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna pick up. This greenish bluish shade right here. And apply that into my crease.
I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush and just blend that out a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with that same concealer, the uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Concealer in the shade Light, and the same brush we used to carve out our eyebrows, and I'm going to do a cut crease, so I'm just going to pick up some of that concealer. And I'm just going to do one eye at a time, that way the concealer does not dry. And then, so now I'm going to take a flat brush, and I'm going to go back in with that same Hues palette. I'm going to pick up the lighter blue shade that's right next to that green shade, and I'm going to pack that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go ahead with that same brush, and I'm going to pick up this darker blue right next to that and put it on the outer corner. And then blend that into the lighter shade. Now we're gonna carve out that other eye. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that same thing to this eye. So, the light blue on the inner corner. And that dark blue on the outer corner. Blending into the lighter color. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do some bronzer. I'm just going to take this nice, dense, angled brush and this Lisa Frank Bitten and Bronzed Matte Bronzer. And I'm going to pick some up and just apply it on my cheekbones. Like so and a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm going to take this angled brush and pick up some of that same Lisa Frank bronzer and just bronze down my nose.
Now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and I'm going to use this Bonnie Bell eyeliner in the shade Basic Black. And I'm just going to line my waterline. Now I'm going to go ahead with that same fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe away all that bake. And I'm going to go in with the same brush that we used for the cut crease part, the blended brush, and the Hughes palette again. And I pick up the darker, the darker bluish green color right here. Put it on the outer corner, and then the darker blue in the middle. Blending these two colors together and then the lighter blue on the other corner. Blending it all together. Do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. This is Starstruck Eyeliner. It has a stamp and a regular felt tip liner. We're just going to use a regular felt tip. And I'm going to open up a mirror to do this. I'm going to use the same thing I used for the concealer. I'm just going to draw a line. Do the same thing to the other eye. I'm just gonna draw the wing.
All right. Now I'm going to go in with some blush, and I'm going to use this Cargo Blush in the shade Bali. And that same fluffy brush that we used to set our face. I'm just going to apply some of that to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose to give color back to my face. And then I'm going to go in with this baked highlighter by Luna in the shade Electra. I'm going to pick some of that up on, on a fluffy brush and just apply to my cheekbones, tips of my nose, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, my chin. And then I'm going to go in with this Stella all day liquid lipstick in the shade Perla. And that's everything. The blue really pops out the color of my, the blue eyes and you know the lips are just kind of drawing more attention to the eyes and the lips so you have more of a distraction up here so they're not really paying attention to down here they're paying attention to like right here so you know you'd get a lot of eye contact when you're having conversations. Bye!